Hello all. Uh, have you ever asked um, me to do a video on installing uh, Arch Linux, uh, dual booting with uh, Arch Linux and Windows? And Windows. So I chose Windows 7 for the example, and I'm going to use VirtualBox since I don't have a, a camera to record my screen. But I'll try to simulate uh, this as much as possible. So this setup has one hard drive. Okay. Um, I strongly recommend that you use a dedicated separate hard drive but if you can't I'll go through the steps of uh, setting this up so you can uh, dual boot so uh, we can also uh, I can also call up a virtual machine to simulate a BIOS setup as well so uh, let's get started with that okay I should also mention that uh, this will be based on uh, the BIOS a legacy BIOS um, the traditional BIOS, not the uh, newest one, the uh, proprietary, um, well, sort of proprietary bootloader. Uh, so, and that's what the uh, viewer mentioned is they're using legacy as well. So, uh, be aware of that. So, the grub install is a lot simpler uh, process for Arch Linux. So, with that said, uh, we'll click on the orb here, the start button, and we'll right click on computer. And we'll go to manage. And you wait for the uh, program to load. Once it's loaded, go down to disk management. And wait for it to find the uh, hard drives or partitions. In this case, only one. This is the reserved. Don't touch that, please. <laughs> and this is Windows installed. We can uh, resize this. So we'll right click and shrink volume. Again, I'll check how much uh, it can shrink by. Okay, so it says uh, this part here: enter the amount of space to shrink by to shrink in megabytes. Um, Arch Linux can run on uh, a few gigs, uh, so I'm going to give it uh, say 10. So it'll be 10, and then one, two, three. So that'd be 10 gigabytes, and then shrink. And you'll see approximately 10 or 9 and change of unallocated disk space when it's done. There we go. So it says 9.77 according to Windows uh, gigabyte unallocated. So we're done with that. Um, so you just close the manager. The next thing is to insert your uh, USB or CD-ROM of Arch Linux. And... Uh, Another suggestion is uh, burn it to a CD-ROM if you're using Windows. Uh, USB gets a little tricky and it doesn't always work. So uh, a CD-ROM on your actual machine, burn that image using that. And there's lots of free tools you can download. If you're a Windows 8 user, you can burn it uh, right through the interface in Windows 8. But this is Windows 7. Okay, so just call up your uh, disk and throw it in the machine and we'll get to the bio screen and uh, how to set that up okay so this is a uh, probably a simpler bios but they're all basically um, straightforward uh, so you have your main and to navigate you use the arrow keys back and forth on your keyboard so right here it has uh, a settings for boot and uh, in this case, it tells you, it gives you instructions on the right. They usually do on how to manipulate. So, if you wanted to boot from a removal device, such as a USB, that would be the first option at the top. That's highlighted. It's in white. If I want it for CD-ROM, I just press the plus sign, or and or if I want to bring that back down, I press the minus. And if I want hard drive, I press plus. Okay. And then when you're done with that, you press F10 and save and exit. Okay, so we'll set this up to boot from a uh, oops CD-ROM first, and press on this F10 to save and exit, and press yes. So you see here, it's booting right to Arch Linux um, disk. All right, so that's basically what you would do in your BIOS to set that part up. I have the Arch Linux uh, disk loaded up. There's something I want to go through first is I'm going to select reboot and what comes up very quickly is a boot option in VirtualBox. So I'm going to reboot F12. 
that's how quick it went by. <laughs> and uh, on my system, that's the same key as F12. So it's uh, you can select what uh, you want to load. And here you can see it's detected one hard disk. Uh, there is no floppy. The CD-ROM, LAN, or continue booting. Now this, it's set. VirtualBox is set to uh, boot from CD-ROM. So if I either I can check B or C. Now you might have something similar on your system. It could be a different key. Most likely it is F12. There might be like a, a key to boot to a disk or from an image or a CD-ROM or external drive. So I'm just going to press B to continue booting and I'll just uh, bring us to Arch Linux. And I'm using Arch Linux 64-bit. So I'll let this uh, load up and uh, we'll continue. Okay, so here we are at the uh, Arch Linux uh, screen, and uh, we're logged in automatically as root. It's a random password, I believe. So the um, first thing you do is uh, we can do CF disk. Now you can just type that in without having uh, to specify like device dash SD, I'm sorry, SDC or something, but it has to be a root uh, like the main hard drive, it can't be SDC1 or SDB2 uh, or 3. But in this case, we can just type F disk and press enter. And you can see here, um, NTFS is the boot, which is the Windows reserved. Uh, Windows 7, SDA2. And then there's our free space we made, which is approximately 10 gigabytes. So down at the bottom here, it's highlighted as new. So you press new. Uh, primary is fine because uh, it's only one hard drive. If you have more, like more f uh, than four, I would suggest going logical. But in this case, it's just primary, and all of it. I'm not going to allocate a swap file. If you want, you can, but it's basically the same process. But I'm just going to take, leave it at 10 gigs, and make that bootable as well. So you can see now there's two boot flags, and then we just uh, go over to write. And type YES and then Q to quit. After that, uh, it will make our file system on the device. So if you forgot what it was, you can just do an F disk dash L to list. And you can see SDA here at the top, the main drive. Um, and this is the uh, image, the CD ROM, or whatever you're using. So SDA, SDA 2, 1, 2, and 3. So we want to make a file system on SDA 3. So it's MKFS. The popular one is extension 4. That's your best bet. And then slash DEV slash SDA 3. Okay? That's very important. So I press enter, and it will allocate... Uh, 10 gigs of space. Now let's do that F disk list. And now it says Linux and it's bootable and you can see the boot flag. So now we just mount it. Mount slash DEV SDA 3 to slash MNT. You can do an LS slash MNT and you'll see lost and found in there. Okay, does that, I hope that makes sense to you. It's just whatever you choose as the Linux partition and uh, what the name of the, uh, what it sees as the uh, device. So the serial device is um, SDA3 in this case. All right, so I'll go ahead and uh, download the Arch Linux uh, packages and then uh, I'll uh, start again when we get to the uh, Grub bootloading. So moving on, uh, I've already, uh, CH rooted into Arch Linux. I've downloaded uh, some packages and I set up my locale and uh, system uh, location uh, time zone. Uh, so if you have wireless stuff, don't forget to get wireless tools, WPA supplicant and dialog. Uh, so you can run a Wi-Fi menu after you reboot. But in uh, this case, we don't need that because it's a, a virtual machine. So the next thing is uh, Pac-Man. And dash capital S. And I just type in grub because we don't need the extra um, grub 
unified uh, the extended uh, unified uh, firmware interface it's just grub and if you're not sure grub stands for uh, grand unified bootloader okay and there's another tool we're going to get but first of all uh, I'll just clear the screen and we'll just do a grub you start typing grub press tab and then install in and slash dev sda remember that there's no one or two after that okay so you press enter it says i3 uh, i386 pc don't worry about that it'll still be 64 bit if you're using so no errors reported now we're going to gr uh, grab uh, os prober so it's pacman dash capital s um, os dash prober okay enter enter and you just run that os dash pro burr don't worry about the run v this thing this is i think that's uh, looking at the what we have mounted as the image but it did find device sda1 windows 7 okay which is what we want so now we'll just uh, generate our grub uh, configuration so grub dash m mk config dash o slash boot grub grub dot c f g grub dash mk config dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot c f g or configuration press enter again you'll see that error about the virtual image but it's found windows 7 and of course arch linux and that's it we're done so you just uh, type in exit And we just do a U M O N T U mount or unmount slash M N T. That's all we have is just slash M mount. And then uh, reboot. I'm gonna press F12. And let's go to uh, hard drive. Ah, there we go. Now you see there's Arch Linux, Advanced Options, and Windows 7. So let's make sure Windows 7 is still there. <laughs> so press Enter. And we can see Windows 7 starting up, and the screen is much larger than I had hoped for, but it's there. 